welcome back to the channel. I hope that everybody is doing well today. If you are new here, then hi, my name is Brittany and I'm a nurse practitioner, amongst other things. I make content here on YouTube, mostly educational, mostly pertaining to being a nurse practitioner. I definitely sprinkle in some stuff that I want to as far as like my life and my children and my family, but a big part of who I am is a nurse practitioner and I know that a lot of people are interested in the field and so I take the opportunity to just share little bits of pieces of life navigating being a nurse practitioner and so I get asked quite often do I regret becoming a nurse practitioner? Mostly from people that are in nursing and maybe considering it, maybe some of my old colleagues, family, myself, I've asked myself, do I regret it? And so I'm gonna answer that question in a whole video because I think a lot of people are interested in the aftermath. Like, okay, I made it here, I'm a nurse practitioner. I've been practicing for two years, almost two months. In two months, it'll be two years. I've been practicing for almost two years. Do I regret it? Would I have done the same thing now, knowing what I know and looking back? And so we're going to go through some stuff. Financially, do I regret it? Do I still like what I am doing? Do I still want to be a nurse practitioner? Do I recommend that you become a nurse practitioner? So those are some couple of questions that we're going to talk about. So financially, we'll just start with finances because a lot of people want to know, you know, is it worth it financially to become a nurse practitioner? And what I would say to that would be if your sole purpose of becoming a nurse practitioner is for an increase in pay, I would encourage you to not become a nurse practitioner. One, because you're getting, you're accruing a lot more debt, so you're just gonna have more bills to pay off. And two, the increase in pay is not that much. There is an increase in pay. I don't like when people say, oh, I can make more money as a nurse. You can sometimes. If you can be a travel nurse and you can do those types of gigs, there, I mean, you can make better money than the doctors, the nurse practitioners, if you want to be a travel nurse and you, if you are able. The problem is like a lot of us aren't able to be travel nurses. Our lifestyle just doesn't allow it. In another life, that sounds really cool. I mean, you get to travel and experience different locations. You get paid amazing money, but it's just not for everybody. Some people want more like a stationary job where they get comfortable. And then if you're doing side by side, nurses don't make as much as nurse practitioners. Not generally anyway, of course, like during the peak of COVID times so with some of that critical pay, I wasn't making quite as much money as I'm making now. But you know, I was making $41 or something as a nurse at my peak. And then critical pay would be like time and a half. And so not quite as much as I'm making now. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm making if you want to do some math, nothing to brag about. But I live comfortably, I do make time and a half on holidays and there are bonuses and but if you were to do full-time nursing and a full-time career as a nurse practitioner you can definitely make more money as a nurse practitioner not a ton more though and so that's why i just don't think it should be like the only motivating factor because you are accruing more debt like there's always like multi factors at play so another question that i would ask if you're a nurse and you're considering it is can you see yourself doing bedside nursing or nursing for the rest of your life and do you think that you'll be satisfied? Do you think you're physically capable? Do you think that that is what you want to be doing? And I know that's really kind of a weird question, but a lot of people get into nursing and then after working in nursing for a couple of years, they reevaluate. It's a really, excuse my language, it's a really hard job. It's a stable job, you're always gonna have work. But as far as like how hard the work is and the things that you have to endure and the pay, it's just, you know, it's it's hard. And so a lot of people get into nursing and after a couple of years, they reevaluate and they're like, I don't know if I want to do this forever. Consider becoming a nurse practitioner because the scope of practice and your role is vastly different. Because I could never imagine doing anything besides working in healthcare. And I still can't to this day. I, do, I belong in healthcare. I know I do. I just know that that's where I'm more, most purposeful there. And obviously being a mom, that's like number one, but I'm talking about career. Another concern that a lot of people have when considering to go become a nurse practitioner is employment. Will they find work? My experience, I have not seen a problem in finding work. I've only seen an increase in positions of available for nurse practitioners. I'm curious if you're watching this and you are a nurse practitioner or looking, been just looking and noticing, are you seeing an increase in nurse practitioner positions where you're at? There's only going to be more positions available opening up as we gain more practice authority 
And so I, do, I think if that is at all a deterring factor as far as concern for finding work, I think that you will be fine. I think you will find work because it's just a growing field. And healthcare systems, they really want to utilize, you know, nurse practitioners and PAs because we're cheaper. And that's just the reality of it. And I'm not just going to say it was my personal reason as to why I am happy that I became a nurse practitioner and why I think for me it was the right choice. I definitely challenge myself more as a nurse practitioner as far as my wealth of knowledge, my experience, my skills. I want to be a great nurse practitioner. And I'm not saying I didn't do that as a nurse, but as a nurse, I kind of felt like I just followed orders and I really kind of became stagnant in my practice. And so if you're a nurse and you want to stay a nurse, I would say challenge yourself to not do that. But I think I kind of got into that rut pretty quickly of just following orders and not really diving deep and understanding the why. And, and that that's my favorite part of being a nurse practitioner is challenging myself nonstop to just be better and to know more things and to do better for my patient and to just be the best nurse practitioner that I can be. Knowing what I know now, if I went back and I was a nurse again, I think I would be a totally different nurse. That's a, that's a good question for anyone that is a nurse practitioner. Looking back now in your nursing role, do you think that you would have been the same nurse? I don't know. I just think I would have done things a little differently. I don't know. Anyway, so that's going to be all for today. Hopefully you found this helpful. Ultimately, I would do it over again in a heartbeat. I'm happy that I became a nurse practitioner and I just want to keep growing in this field. There's so much growth in nursing and I don't want to stop. I want to continue to challenge myself. I want to continue to grow. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It was a little bit rambly. That is a downfall of mine. <laughs> I can definitely chat. But I wish you guys nothing but the best. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if I didn't say that already. That helps me out and I really appreciate it. And don't forget to learn something new every day. I always challenge myself to continue to learn every day and I really encourage you to do the same. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk soon. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.